welcome to another recording from ScanForce. In this recording, we're going to be showing you the ScanForce feature of picking or staging of a sales order. This is available in ScanForce WMS Advanced as well as Premium. The concept of this is to get an order ready but not yet have the invoice date reflect the date you started staging this order. So you can get items together, get your orders together, and then at another step, ship them out the door. This video is also uh, almost a continuation of the directed picking video. So if you have not yet caught that video, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel and pull that up and watch the directed picking video first. What you're looking at here is an emulation of the screen of our app on any of the devices that are available for ScanForce. ScanForce does run on iOS and Android. And what I've done so far is logged into the app and I've launched the SO picking transaction. You'll see here it's asking me for a sales order number, which I could go ahead and scan off of a picking sheet if I have that barcoded. I could key that in or I could simply tap on the lookup button here, which will connect up real time to my Sage system to display for me all of the orders that are available in my Sage system. I have the ability to search by customer name or the order number, or once again, I could scroll with my finger. I'm gonna select this order here, hit accept. Once again, if I scanned the order number, it would instantly do this, but what it's doing is connecting up to my Sage system real time. It's grabbing the data for that order, placing it locally on my device. This feature does work with a non-multi-bin install, and in that instance there, it would not be looking for a pip to location as you see on my screen right now. The staging or picking of a sales order without multi-bin will simply allow you to do the transaction where you're validating items and quantities, getting the order ready. Back in Sage, we update the order status and also reflect that in the ScanForce dashboards. With multi-bin here, it's actually going to do a bin transfer for me, so it's going to do a transaction. This allows you to see instant visibility as far as what's available out in the warehouse, what's been staged and what hasn't. You can have it set to default to a bin location as I have mine set here, so it's defaulting to shipping. And at this point, it's gonna start asking me for the items. Again, tying back to the directed picking, on my screen I see where to go and what to get. You can scan the items or select from the lookup here. And here you'll see this is a lot valued inventory item. And there are two separate lot numbers that were allocated for the sales order. That determines what location I need to go pick the items from. If these two lot numbers were in two separate locations, that would be listed out separately on the lines as well. At this point, I can go scan my bin location or I could go ahead and simply tap on it here. It's gonna ask me my quantity. I know I only have 10, so I'm going to indicate the 10 here. And it's gonna confirm my lot number as well. So here's where I see the allocated lot numbers. I'm doing the lookup. You obviously could scan the lot number as well if you wanted to. Confirm my quantity. It remains here, so I know to stay at that bin location. Grab the remaining lot. And now I've completely picked that item. You'll see it drops off of my lookup here. We also can display the ability to select from this lookup here if you wanted to force users to actually scan barcodes. So I'm gonna select my last item here, indicate my quantity, I'm done. I send my data back to my Sage system. It would alert me if I had skipped any items as with all of our solutions where it refers back to any line not completely in this case picked as a uh, unresolved line, so it would warn me making sure that I actually have picked everything. If you're just staging an order, it's okay to ignore that and go back so somebody else can come and pick the rest of the items. Now, to finish this up, what I wanna show you is what happened back in my Sage system. So two things happened, and again, because of my multi-bin install, we need to go ahead and be concerned about bin locations. So when I pull up that order in my Sage system here, you'll see when I go to my lines and go to my bin distribution, it'll now show this item is allocated to my shipping location. So once again, it moved that and now has to write back to the sales order to show you where it's actually allocated from. The second thing that happened back in Sage is we instantly did a bin move. So once again, this ties into instant data uh, validation and visibility where I launch my multi-bin install. And you'll see the 25 that were staged for that order now are in my staging bin and over in allocations, it now shows what order that's tied to. The last thing I'll show you is as you stage sales orders, whether it's with ScanForce WMS Advanced or Premium, the order status in dashboards is also updated instantly. That's sort of a sneak peek. There'll be another video recording down the road that will actually highlight the features and functions of the ScanForce management console that consists of dashboards, as well as complete traceability of who did what on each scanner. Thank you again for joining us, and I encourage you to, again, visit our YouTube channel and check out all of our other videos.